What is going on, Ticklers? That's a throwback intro. You um, may have noticed I changed the name back to Tickler Nick. We are back better than ever, going back to the roots. As you guys can see, I'm wearing knee pads and boots. I don't do that with a pit bike. Got another new bike. Ended up selling the Z and the CBR. Kind of had like a little midlife crisis. Um, sold the Z, sold the CBR, bought a 1992 Corvette in aqua metallic. Love that car. And then uh, missed having a bike, so I went out and I bought this beauty right here. This is a 2007 Suzuki DRZ 400S. Now, I have done a lot to it. This bike looked nothing like this whenever I bought it. I did new headlights, new turn signals, handguards, grips, uh, new plastics. The white plastics are different. I did the graphics, a Cherubis gas tank, saddlebag racks on the back, uh, new tail light and fender illuminator, and new pegs case savers. I did all sorts of stuff to this thing. Now we are out here at Trophy Club today. I'm not out here with any of my friends and riders, but there are plenty of people out riding as you can probably hear. So I'm not going to go too crazy. You know, this is kicking it kind of back to the YZ250F days uh, whenever I used to come out here alone and ride. Wouldn't go too crazy. It is right after it rained. It's pretty muggy outside. I didn't get out here till like 11. I really wanted to get here in the morning. But it was raining all night, so I figured that they might close, but they've actually been a lot more lenient now on not closing when it rains. They used to close any time it would rain at all. Now they let people come out and enjoy the mud. Like I said, not going to go too crazy because I am by myself. There are lots of other riders, so if I do crash, I should be fine. And I've also haven't been on a big bike in the dirt in two years, and I haven't ridden in motocross boots in two years too. So we're gonna go ahead and just get into it. We'll wait for this guy to pass on by. I haven't been on here on a, or out here on a big bike. Like I said, in two years, I haven't been on a big bike in two years. Haven't ridden in boots in two years. It's been all pit bike. So hopefully, hopefully we can do all right today. Yeah, the goal is to just not crash, which might be easier said than done because these brakes on this bike are horrible. They're probably the softest brakes I've ever felt on a uh, dirt bike or dual sport. I've ridden a couple other dual sports. I've ridden some super motos and lots of dirt bikes and these are definitely the worst the worst brakes. But we're gonna go ahead and make do with them. Um, I may eventually you know replace them with something a little bit better but for for today they should be fine. One thing I uh, also didn't mention is that this bike has a seat concept seat. So it's a little low for my liking. I haven't really been on a stock DRZ 400 in uh, quite some time. So I can't really remember just how garbage the, uh, the stock seat is. But the uh, owner before me was a lot shorter than I am. So he, um, he had the seat concept seat. And it's fine. I mean, I use this as a commuter bike too. This is the mud that I went through earlier. The main objective for today is just to uh, go the entire day without breaking anything and hopefully without wiping out too bad. You know, I'm expecting a drop maybe two. I'd like to uh, not drop this bike at all. I've only had this bike for probably a little over a month, month and a half maybe. So the main objective, you know, is to keep this thing as nice as possible. So if I can go without dropping it and without wrecking, that would be wonderful. I was out here on the pit bike, I don't know, probably two, two and a half weeks, three weeks for my birthday ride. My birthday was a uh, is August 20th, which was a Sunday, I want to say. And I got um, a couple buddies to show out, and I rode with Sheriff Bo. You guys know who that is on a CRF 110. I was on my 110. We got our buddy Gabe, if you remember him from a couple videos. He was on his CRF 110. Uh, and then a couple of my buddies from work. We had Alex on his KLX 110, and Will on his uh, DRZ 400 Supermoto. He was out here 
on supermoto tires <laughs> riding all of this so props to him you know he was doing he was doing good so it's really weird riding this bike in mx boots um just because i feel like the distance between the shifter and the um between the shifter and the foot peg on this bike are a lot narrower because it's made there's a little deer there it's made to be uh you know ridden in normal shoes whereas on a mx bike they're made to be ridden in these boots so you can actually get the boots in there a little easier on an mx bike since the distance is weird on this one i kind of have to shift with like the like the outside of the boot a little bit and it's just taking a little bit of getting used to you know i'm probably gonna have some mist shifts going into neutral and everything so you guys can't make fun of me too much for it you know this is like i said this is my first ride on a uh on a big bike in two years and first riding boots in two years i keep on saying that but i just i need excuses for when i'm inevitably bad which i i already feel like i am you know i'm going kind of slow around all this stuff i just don't want to wreck this bike and it's a little soupier than normal you know normally when we come out here it's nice and dry um so i'm not worried too much about hydro planning or hitting cross ruts or anything i gotta say though so far i'm actually really happy with this bike oh man i almost wiped out there was able to save it luckily i'm actually really happy with this bike uh not just on the road or not just on the trails out here but actually on the road and everything too it, it's been reliable hasn't really let me down i think this is a new section over here Yeah, this is new. I've never, uh... Yeah, they, uh, they closed that off and put it right here. That's cool. New section. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take whatever new stuff they put out here. You know, they, uh... They don't really renovate this place a whole lot as far as the trails and... Mainly this track. This track, I feel like, hasn't been touched. Ever. I've been coming out here for... I don't know, probably four years at this point. And it just feels like this track is the exact same as it's always been. Lots of mud around this one, so kind of avoid it. I think this guy's on an electric bike. I kind of want to ask him what it is. You good? <laughs> what type of bike is that? Oh, it's a Suron? Yeah. I was trying to wonder, or I was uh, trying to figure out what it was. I didn't know if it was a Suron or not, because I haven't seen one set up like a dirt bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one is actually supposed to be a um, full-size dirt bike, but it's like a mid-size. Okay. Fun as hell, though. No, yeah, I saw you ripping it. It looks fast. I'm just a beginner, man. This guy here, he's fucking hauling ass. Oh, is he on one, too? He's on one. <laughs> Upgraded his, got a bigger chain in his pocket, and we just lost the uh, piece to his chain. It came off, man. Oh, the master link? Yeah. Man. Was it around here? Yeah. I need a break, so I'll help you guys look. Right, appreciate it, man. Well, I found their uh, master link for them, so I think they're just going to tow the bike back to their truck and get out of here. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut out over by the track here. I took a wrong turn. I was trying to get back out to my truck. Uh, I took a uh, wrong turn and it's sending me back on the trails. <laughs> so I'm going to take this little runoff right here, get out to the track and ride back to my truck. I'm going to change out the batteries. Um, so I'll see you guys here in just a moment. <laughs> Once I get back out on the trails. We'll take it this way. This way is just full of whoops. So normally I'd avoid this way if I was on like the pit bike because, you know, it's uh, my pit bike has no suspension. So riding whoops with no suspension is just a, a death wish. I was going to say it makes me feel like I got gang banged in prison. And that reminded me, that reminded me, uh, as I was taking my break out my truck, I guess there was a guy out there uh, riding in this group. I think he was on house arrest or something. Because <laughs> um, he was, they were talking about how I think his friend said, like, I'll never forget the day that that thing started blinking red and we had to, you know, haul butt back to your house or the, uh, 
What is it? It's like a joint home or something. Joint home. Half home. I don't know what it's called. Got some more deer. I don't know what it's called, but I'll race them. <laughs> but yeah, so they were talking about that. They're saying that uh, he got a call from his parole agent or whatever asking where he was, if he was where he was supposed to be. And he, he was like, yeah, I'm at work. Uh, whenever he was out here riding, so they had to haul, you know, haul butt back to his home. So that, that was making me laugh. I was over at my truck. They were, they were across the parking lot, but they were talking kind of loud. So I got a good chuckle out of that one. So we're approaching the end. I just want to thank you guys for uh, staying subscribed. You know, I haven't uploaded in months. I've been going through a whole lot of stuff in my personal life. You know, just feeling broken, having depression. I've just been lost. Um, I needed time off just to kind of regain myself. And I'm still not done, man. I, it's rough out there. So you know what, if there's any of you who are struggling, or you guys got a friend who's struggling with mental health, I want you guys to reach out to them. Be a good friend, listen to them, help them through it. I'm lucky I have great friends who are uh, willing to help. And I don't really ask for help. But, you know, I'm still lucky to have them. Watch out for your friends. I want you guys to uh, be happy yourself. Go out there, do things that make you happy. That's really what I've been doing for this last year because it's just been a rough year for me. I've been um, finding things that make me happy. And that's, you know, going out, riding the pit bikes, fishing, I love fishing, even though I don't catch a whole lot. I actually did just catch a uh, personal best bass not too long ago, probably about two months ago. It was about six pounds. So that was great, you know, that <laughs> I was excited for that. But yeah, riding the pit bikes, going out there, buying the dirt bike and riding, riding dirt bikes. I've always been a car guy, so getting my Corvette was a big milestone for me. So, I mean, I've, I've been just trying to occupy my time this year. If you can occupy your time and make yourself happy, you'll be able to uh, overcome whatever you're dealing with. I can promise you that. It's gonna take time. I haven't overcame what I'm dealing with, but here I am trying. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. It's really hot. I need to take a break. I need to take a thumbnail picture. I love every single one of you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been having fun with YouTube. I've been doing it for three or four years now, and uh, it's really not gaining a lot of traction, but I don't really care about that. You know, I just, uh, I enjoy making videos for you guys. I enjoy interacting with you guys in the comment section. If any of you live in the DFW Texas area and you own a dirt bike um, or a pit bike and you guys want to come ride with me and Sheriff Bo and our group of uh, riders, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Um, if I see it, I'll go ahead and respond to you guys. We can get in touch. I don't have any social media anymore. I used to have an Instagram. I uh, deactivated my Instagram accounts and I don't have any social media anymore. So, um... We'll just have to uh, respond to each other in the comment section. But once again, that's my new bike. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you subscribe, uh, leave a like on the video. I'm gonna be making a whole lot more videos coming soon. But yeah, I love every single one of you guys and I will see you guys in the next video.